What is up guys, it's your boy Swalam here, back with another Wrath of the Lich King classic gold farming video. So today we're checking out a gold farm that I personally have been doing a little bit recently, and I want to talk to you about Scarlet Monastery farming, what you're looking for in this dungeon, and basically do a full walkthrough of how I'm personally farming Scarlet Monastery, as well as why you might want to consider doing this farm yourself. This is a farm that even right now it produces a somewhat okay amount of gold per hour value. It kind of depends a little bit on your server, but one of the things I really enjoy here is that it's super simple, you don't really need any gear whatsoever, I'm doing this on a pretty much freshly dinged level 80 character, and I chose my death knight because of the unholy presence being able to run a little bit faster, and being a bit of a tanky character, I can just pull pretty much the entire instance and AOE them down. Now farming dungeons you also don't have any competition whatsoever when it comes to farming the mobs or getting the mobs themselves, you don't have to worry about anyone else tagging your mobs basically, and you can farm some gold while just chilling out watching Netflix, Twitch, or even YouTube, which is personally things that I personally enjoy doing, just playing the game on a casual level, doing something in the game while I'm watching something on the second monitor, it just allows me to chill out and make some gold at the same time. So let's talk a little bit about that, why you want to farm Scarlet Monastery, and why this farm is good right now, and why it can be better later down the line as well. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the dungeon, what you can expect to get from here, and I'm currently running a loot appraiser in the top left corner so you can see the values I'm getting throughout this video, and I want to show you guys a complete walkthrough of how I personally do the dungeon. There's probably going to be several ways to do this, so you can uh, pick and choose based on your class, your setup, and how exactly you want to pull the dungeon. You can probably group this mob these mobs right here up a little bit more than I did, just to get a bit, little bit more of a clean kill face right here, but to me it doesn't really matter too much, like I just said I just want to farm some gold on a casual level while I'm just chilling out and um, yeah that's what I like doing. So in terms of gold, a lot of your steady gold right here comes from the cloth you're looting, like mage weave cloth for example, silk cloth and also wool cloth. You also loot some potions that are actually selling and if you have herbalism there's going to be a couple of herbs in the middle of the dungeon as well, so having herbalism can increase the gold a little bit, but to be honest, the majority of gold is coming from not having any professions whatsoever. You can also disenchant both the boss loot and the green items that you don't want to sell on the ocean house. You can disenchant those and sell enchanting materials for potentially faster sales and even more value. So having enchanting could be worth having, and even if you don't have enchanting on the character you're actually farming with, you can send the greens to your enchanter if you want to disenchant them to get even more gold from them, because when it comes to the green items, the only ones you want to sell on the auction house as their true form, like the actual green items, are the ones with a very unique transmog appearance for when you go into Cataclysm Classic. Now the regular greens, you they, they will have a really low sell rate, potentially they won't sell at all, so those I just disenchant, and when you go into this room right here, you just want to pull the boss and all the mobs will get pulled onto you. So why exactly am I farming Scarlet Monastery right now, and why is this a farm you can do right now and for the rest of the expansion pretty much? Well, we're farming for transmog items that can only be farmed inside Scarlet Monastery. Now, transmog items are items that we will need in Cataclysm Classic, so this is a farm based on us getting Cataclysm Classic, but even if you personally don't want to play Cata, this is a farm you might want to know about because it's a simple farm, and the items that we're farming for here have already started going up in price because people are preparing for Cata. So even if you personally don't believe in transmog items, these items will sell, and it's a super easy gold farm, so if you start playing Wrath late, like if you start now, or in phase 3, phase 4, or even phase 5, you can use this farm right here to farm a bunch of gold. So the main items I'm personally looking out for are the Scarlet Monastery set pieces right here, you have the Scarlet Boots, you have the Scarlet Chest Piece, and the Scarlet Gauntlet. Now you also have some offsets you really want to be on the lookout for, so you have these ones right here, the Tainted Pierce, the Beguiler Robes, the Cobalt Crusher, Steel Claw and the Butcher. 
Now I grabbed the retail versions of these, but the names are the same, just the stats are different. But yeah, the names are the same, so if you want to buy them or be on the lookout for them when you're farming, here are the names for the items you want to be on the lookout for that have a pretty unique appearance, and they can only drop from Scarlet Monastery. Now every now and then when you're doing the runs you will also lose some lesser moonstone and random gems from the mobs as well and they have been going a little bit up in price the last couple of months pretty much since we went into rough classic so they will also give you some gold as well and as you can see right now in 5 minutes we have gotten just about 50 gold in 5 minutes so based, based on just running cathedral we're getting about 600 gold per hour right there and that is without getting any of the super items so if you can keep to that that steady value we can get a lot of gold in like pure gold value and then if you also get very lucky and get one of these items right here or one of these items right here that will give you a massive bonus to your gold per hour that being said in my experience scarlet monastery is just about 300 to 400 gold per hour on a baseline with like very bad luck and then if you have any good rng on top of that that will boost your gold per hour as well and you shouldn't really expect back to get any of these scarlet pieces or the off pieces but every now and then you get them and some of them are selling for up to a thousand gold giving you a pretty decent chunk like a decent bonus from just one run of a good rng so personally, I do both Cathedral and then Armory. For both of these, you want to have the Scarlet Key to open the gate. If you don't have that one, just do the other dungeon first. Takes you literally one and a half minutes to get the Scarlet Key. And you want to pretty much make sure you spend 12 minutes doing these dungeons. So if you, want, if you have to do one more set of Scarlet Mastery, you can for example do Cathedral, you can do Armory, and then you can do Library as well, or you can do Graveyard. The thing is, you can do all versions of Scarlet Monastery before resetting and it counts as the same instance reset so you can do all four of them and it counts as one instance before you reset. Now that way you can spend 12 minutes inside or 12 and a half minutes inside a dungeon or you pretty much want to spend 12 minutes so you spend exactly five resets per hour that way you are capping yourself out and being as efficient as possible. Now when you come to the corridor where I am right now you could opt to skip the boss but personally once again I have 12 minutes and you can see right now we are 8 minutes in so personally I choose to do this pack right here and then I do the boss as well because after the boss you do spawn some extra mobs that can give you decent loot. Now if it wasn't for those mobs though I would probably just skip the boss because actually the boss only gives you like 1 gold. Depends a little bit on the actual boss loot you get but it's just about 1 gold per boss but the boss like after the boss is dead inside armory he spawns a bunch of small ads that you can also loot for additional gold and additional chances of boe transmog items So as you can see so far, this is a very very chill gold farm. It might not, not, not it really. It might not be the best value in terms of gold per hour, but it's super super chill, and it does give you a decent chunk of gold. Plus you have the chance of getting some super RNG, but super expensive items on top as well. And it's just something I like doing when I'm when I just want to play the game and chill for a bit and just do something on the side and make some gold while doing it. And I don't have to. It doesn't really feel like you're farming gold it feels like you're just doing some old content for fun and you're making some gold while doing it as well it is definitely a lot different from the current wrath farms we have where you either fly around and you look for herbs and mining veins or you farm mobs and you skin them or you farm mobs for raw gold and so on it feels completely different has a way different feel and personally i just really enjoy doing these dungeons especially when they do give you gold as well as you can see the weapon we picked up sells for just about to be gold but he does spawn all of these scarlet trainees that can also give you these scarlet pieces for example so definitely worth grabbing these ones right here and then run out and reset the dungeon if you are a bit faster than me you might have to go into library as well or graveyard because as you can see right now we are sitting on 10 minutes so we spend two minutes running back and then we go back into uh, into cathedral but if you are faster than me you can just go to library as well and do that one too for some extra loot. 
Okay, so with that being said, let's take a look at some of the prices of the current items you can farm in uh, Scarlet Monastery. And for this, I just want to specify we're looking at the prices of the items we just looked at. So we have the Scarlet Chest Piece, the Scarlet Boots, and the Scarlet Gauntlet. And we also have all of these items right here. So I'm going to go and check the auction house right now and see if any of them are available on my server, just to give you somewhat of a... Uh, indication of what the price could be but once again you can just check up the price on your service auction house and then you can see how much gold they're selling for it and determine for yourself if this is a farm you want to look into Okay, so let's take a look at some of these items. First up we have the Scarlet items, and you can see right here, they're not really selling for that much. You have the Scarlet chest piece, for example, which is selling for 200 gold on my server, and 250 gold, 250 gold, and then all the way up to 400 gold as well. Basically, anywhere between 200 and 400 gold, and as you can see right here with the TSM uh, prices, the market value is currently sitting on 430 38 gold, with the region market value average sitting on just about 200 gold. When it comes to the Scarlet Boots, they are selling for, well, there's one pair for 350, and there's two pairs for 799. Now, here, once again, we can see the minimum buyout is 350, that's this one, and we can see the market value, 300 gold, and the region market value average is 223 gold. Those are just for those two items. We also have the Scarlet, uh, Scarlet Gauntlets, let's see how much they are selling for. Scarlet Gauntlets, super cheap and actually considering they are this cheap i'm just gonna buy them <laughs> uh seven gold yeah definitely gonna buy those they have a much higher value than just seven gold you can see right now the market value as well has gone up by 209 percent so definitely worth buying them if they are this cheap and here we go and when it comes to the off pieces, we can take a look at those prices too. So we have the Beguiler robes, for example. They are currently selling for 100 gold on my server. And here we can see the stats of TSM as well. And we also have, for example, the Cobalt Crusher, uh, the weapon. This one selling for just under 100 gold again, and that seems to be just about the average price they're currently selling for. We also have the Steel Claw Rap uh, Rapier Reaper Reaver. There we go, Steel Claw Reaver. This one's also selling for 100 gold. This one I feel like is a little bit too uh, too rare to sell for that price, but either way, 100 gold for that one as well. We have two more. We have the Tainted Pierce. I hope and believe this one should be selling for more. 300 gold though, definitely not too much, but 300 gold to a uh, 190% market value increase lately, and they have a much lower region market value average, which means that right now they might be a lot cheaper on some of your servers. We also have the Butcher for example, so this one right here, which is not currently on the auction house. Either way, those items are definitely worth farming for and also worth taking a look at the auction house, because if they are this cheap right now, they could be going up in price as we get closer and closer to Cataclysm, especially the Scarlet pieces if you ask me, like if you take a look at the Scarlet pieces for example, we can scroll from item level up and down and you can see several different armor pieces. Uh, Scarlet belt, Scarlet boots, I actually bought some of the uh, chest pieces myself, I just bought a couple of them, so we have three of them in the mailbox right now, but they have a super super cool looking appearance, and if slash when transmoggy becomes available, I think a lot of people will want to obtain the Scarlet look. Either way, that's going to be the video for today, bit of a different one, but hopefully you enjoy it. And it's been my walkthrough of Scarlet Monastery, and why you might want to farm it right now during Wrath Classic. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, if you did leave a like down below, and leave a comment as well if you're farming any other dungeons, and how much gold per hour you're getting on an average. I would love to hear which dungeons you are farming, and how much like you're averaging out. Either way, hope you enjoyed the video, if you did once again leave a like, leave a sub, thank you so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you again very soon.